Welcome back. Today in this uh, video, let us learn about a delete activity in Azure Data Factory. So delete activity is one of the simple activity that we can find uh, in uh, Azure Data Factory. Uh, we will learn more about this activity and uh, before uh, proceeding, if you are new to this channel and haven't yet subscribed for this channel, uh, please uh, subscribe for this channel and also press bell button for instant notification. So let's get started and let's understand uh, what exactly delete activity is. Uh, And uh, after that, we will uh, see the demo of it. So delete activity, as you can see here, uh, delete activity is used to delete the files or folders from the on-premise storage uh, storage stores or cloud storage stores. That means uh, from using this delete activity, you can, add, you, can, you can delete the files or folders uh, from uh, say Azure Data Lake or Blob Storages or uh, Amazon S3, right? So these are all the cloud uh, storages, uh, right? And uh, you can also delete the data which is in on-premise uh, like Windows uh, machines or Linux machines uh, for that matter. So that is the whole intention of uh, like having a delete activity. And it is used to clean up folder for files or folders based on some retention policy because uh, when you're working in some real-time project uh, uh, in industry, so you cannot store the data forever. So there, I mean, uh, there, there is some data, you will, uh, you will have to delete those data or dispose that data after some retention period. That retention period may be like six months, one year, two year. So after that, uh, you will definitely need to dispose that data. So for that purpose, uh, you might want to delete the older data. Uh, you can schedule a pipeline to delete the older uh, files, which are older than say three months, six months based on the retention policy. And uh, your pipeline, Azure Data Factory pipeline can uh, clear, out, clear up these uh, folders or files. And also this is used to save up the cost and the storage uh, definitely because we are deleting the files or folders which are not uh, necessary for us and uh, but we should we should be very careful when we are delete when you are using delete activity especially if you are giving some folder and all the files inside that folder might uh, will get deleted so we should be very careful when you especially when you're using uh, files uh, when you're using folders instead of files uh, because when you give folder uh, for the delete activity it deletes entire folder with including all the files and also please make sure uh, to take a backup if you are not doing for a like a retention policy and if you just want to delete uh, some files uh, temporarily or something like that in that case uh, it is recommended to take a backup and then uh, when you take a backup and then you can delete so that uh, you will be in a safer uh, side and also i can see one more scenario where we can use a delete activity is uh, if you want to rename a for uh, rename a folder or rename a file so there is no nothing uh, like a rename activity in azure data factory Please note that. So there is no rename activity in Azure Data Factory. If you want to rename a folder, if you want to rename a file, so then what you have to do is uh, you have to copy basically from, uh, like say if it is, a, we have to use a copy activity. So which copies the data from uh, uh, one file name to another file name in the same location. Suppose if you want to make the file one to file two, so your source and sync, the folders will be same, but only the file name will get changed. After that, you don't want the older file, right? Because you're renaming the file. So then you can use a delete activity. That means uh, uh, there is no rename activity, but as a substitute, what we can use is uh, the combination of copy activity. So after copying from uh, one file to another file, one folder to another folder, so you can uh, delete the older, older file or folder using the delete activity. So for that purpose also, for renaming purpose also, you can use this delete activity with the combination of copy activity. So that's also one more uh, kind of scenario you can see, right? And uh, in the demo, in the quick demo, we can see, uh, as you know, it's a it's, it's, it's very simple activity. So we can see that uh, in the demo quickly, but uh, it will be very quick and simple uh, demo we will be seeing uh, where we'll explain uh, how, how to use the delete activity and uh, uh, what are the different options available. So as you can see, uh, we are in the Azure Data Factory pipeline uh, screen where I can create a pipeline, PL delete demo demo and uh, so definitely for the demo purpose uh, we will definitely need this delete activity so this is a delete activity which we are talking about uh, and uh, so if you can quickly see the details about it uh, so the first screen where we talk about the general general uh, uh, general tab so this is the exact same details uh, what we have explained in the previous videos and this is for uh, this is for common for other most of the activities you can uh, if you're not sure about these details i would recommend you to see the uh, previous video in this uh, playlist which we have explained for other activities and coming to source uh, delete activity is uh, meant to delete uh, the files or folders as we have explained right so to delete files or folders uh, definitely we need a data set which is uh, linked to a link service and in turn that link service would have connected to the 
uh, exact location whether it is a blob location or it is a adl location adls location or it is a s3 bucket or it is a might be a windows or linux uh, file system so in this case uh, we have we will take an example of a data set uh, which we have taken uh, if you see the data set with this data set is a uh, csv data set format and uh, we have created on the blob storage so if you are not sure about how to create the link service and data set uh, we have explained in the previous videos you can go ahead and watch that uh, but uh, that is not an intention to explain in detail about this uh, in this video so in this video we were will explain more about the delete activity so in the delete activity we are using a data set uh, which is pointing uh, to the blob storage and it this data set as you can see it is a parameterized data set where we can dynamically send the file names to this uh, and we can delete that or you can uh, definitely can create i mean i mean just uh, browse it and uh, you can also delete so let us see which uh, container blob container we are trying to uh, delete the files from so this is a blob container you can see test container is a container name and uh, we have two files here so we, we will try to delete this recipe file if you want to delete this recipe file so since this is a parameterized data set what i will pass here is uh, it is already asking me the file name so i'll just give the file name as recipes so what is happening here is uh, since it is a delete activity it is supposed to delete the file it is asking me the file name if uh, it'll ask me the file name because i have parameterized i have created it i have created it as a parameter if i delete this uh, parameters we won't get it but uh, in that case we need to hard code the data set so i don't want to hard code the data set so that is why i have parameterized it so now let us try to uh, simply execute this uh, debug activity as you can see for the delete activity it is mandatory to uh, enable the logging so logging uh, is nothing but it will just uh, it's just an auditing that it keeps uh, so you can just uh, give some uh, dummy location for this so i'll just put it in output location right so once you give enable the logging for this uh, and uh, we can debug it so i think we could, we could disable the logging also that is an optional thing anyway but by default it will be enabled if it is enabled if you want to give the location you can definitely give the location and as you can see uh, it has uh, uh, give, uh, I mean executed successfully and uh, it, it is showing uh, the file the files deleted as one that means it is able to de delete at least one file and uh, we'll come back to see and uh, we'll refresh that and we will see the cpu file is not found it is already deleted by delete activity so similarly if you are uh, if you want to delete the entire folder what you can do is uh, you can uh, uh, in the link server in the in the data set level you can just disable this okay and in the parameter level also you can uh, we'll just uh, remove this parameter and now what we are seeing is uh, delete whatever there is in the, this container in the output folder so let me give the output folder so coming back to the in the output folder as you can see there are a uh, few files in the output fo output folder inside the container right so let us try to execute now so as you can see now if we come back it is not asking us any file name because at a data set level we have already removed the parameter here there is a parameter right which is a file name since we have deleted it it is not asking me any file name here and uh, we are we are free to execute uh, and i mean debug it so it will delete the file and uh, what exactly we are targeting now we are targeting to delete the entire folder as you can see we are hard coded the folder output here and if you want you can parameterize this uh, folder uh, output folder also similarly how we did for file name so let us try to uh, delete the folder and see whether it is working so as you can see it is succeeded and uh, it will be showing the folder is this is a folder that we are trying to execute and files deleted deleted are two because there were two files inside the output folder let us try to see it as you can see the output folder itself is not present because it is deleted the output folder and uh, all the inside all the files inside the output folder uh, so this is useful uh, quite useful uh, when you are working in a real time project uh, let me give an example uh, where it will be mostly used so it will be used in uh, when we are talking about the retention uh, period or if you want to create a housekeeping jobs uh, where you want to delete the older files which are beyond the retention period right suppose uh, here if you want to give dynamically you can uh, give here uh, last uh, 30 days right so last modified you are giving here start time and end time so here you can see uh, add dynamic content right you can uh, add a dynamic content which calculates uh, uh, and uh, which which will calculate and bring up the date uh, which is the first day of the month okay and here you can uh, see the last day of the month or like say last 30 days right so if you if you want to give last 30 days you can just calculate uh, uh, you can create a uh, basically there are a lot of functions uh, related to uh, date time okay so you can use you can make use of all these date time function and the conversion functions uh, and uh, somehow if you want to delete the files which are older than 30 days okay so in that case you can dynamically calculate that value and place it uh, that uh, uh, dynamic content here so it will dynamically keep on deleting the files which are older than 30 days and uh, after that you can schedule uh, 
you can uh, basically schedule this using triggers and uh, just like uh, this and uh, your pipeline will execute say every day okay every day once and in that case if you are scheduling this trigger so every day what will happen is uh, it will uh, the pipeline will execute the housekeeping as a housekeeping job and it will delete uh, with the files which are older than 30 days so whatever retention days if, if you want to calculate that you can uh, pass this and i can calculate this here or if you want to pass it from some configuration table like lookup we use the lookups right so where we will uh, usually store the lookups or some configuration details uh, from the control tables or control files uh, from there also you can pass these uh, values uh, directly here using our dynamic content so that is the whole intention of uh, using delete activity in real time uh, projects uh, hope this is useful thanks for watching